Your Professional 5 Plus Review 2022. Do you bake a lot of cookies and are looking to upgrade the mixer that you already have? Let me show you how great the KitchenAid Mixer Professional 5 Plus is and see if this is the right mixer for you. Hi everyone and welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide. Today I'm going to share with you a review of this great mixer from a point of view of a cookie decorator, okay? If you're new here on my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button and let's get started! Very good. This is the box where you are going to receive your KitchenAid, okay? And always it's very important to check the information outside the box so you can see what are the items that is going to come inside the box, obviously. That's nothing new, but sometimes KitchenAid like to add some other accessories to the same kind of mixer. So for example, in this mixer, the only accessories besides the mixer are the ones that are here in the top part of the box. And in this side of the box, there is also very good information about what are the things that you are going to be able to make with your mixer. As you know, kitchen mixers can have attachments so you can do a lot more with your mixer, okay? And this other part of the box is what it's inside is the color of your mixer and also some of the specifications particularly for this mixer okay now let me show you what is inside the box besides your mixer there is a chart of all the attachments that are available for this mixer okay another important thing that it is is that inside your box you are going to find your warranty card and also here you're going to have your manual so all the instructions on how to operate are in this little book so don't lose this book and don't throw it away because a lot of good information is in here okay so always be very careful when you're going to take out your mixer because it's very very heavy okay so here is my beautiful imperial red mixer and in here we have the wire whisk is huge compared to the artisan we have the flat beater and the dough spiral hook okay and you have a five quarts polished stainless steel bowl anatomy of your mixer it is always important to know some of the names of the parts of your mixer so you understand better how to operate this mixer okay this is the motor head over here we have the attachment hub and the attachment knob here we have the beater shaft is where your beaters are going to be inserted this is the bowl lift lever this part is the bowl support these are the locating pins and this is the spring latch and bowl pins this is the beater height adjustment screw this is very very important and if you notice that your paddle is super close to your bowl or very far away from your bowl you can adjust it using this screw and this other side you're going to have the speed button in the bottom part you're going to find the serial number of your mixer and this number is very important because if you're going to need to repair your mixer the first thing that they are going to ask you is for the serial number now that we know the names of the parts of our mixer let's see what we need to know to operate this mixer and in the bottom part besides the serial number you're going to find the power rating of your mixer a voltage of 120 volts and a frequency of 60 hertz and you always need to plug your mixer into a grounded three prong outlet like this one that's a three things like this and you cannot use an adapter or an extension cord professional high plus operates is a lift bulb mechanism in this side of your mixer you are going to have this lever that is going to lift your bowl 
and this other side you're going to have the speed button this mixer has 10 speeds over here now let me give you a better view of the bowl okay as i told you in the beginning this is a five quarts capacity bowl and it is polished stainless steel okay this bowl is going to be a little different from other mixers because you are going to find that it has this part with a little hole in both sides of the bowl and in the back you're going to find this little part okay? you are going to insert over here in your mixer and these little holes are the ones that are going to be inserted in the location pins so when you're going to put your bowl you just need to put this part to the back and then you are going to put these little things in here and then you're going to push back like that so now your bolt is very steady very good now i am going to put the paddle as you can see the paddle has a little kind of a key opening and you are going to match the opening into the blade shaft so you're going to insert it and then you're going to move it and you're going to lock it okay and this is the same thing that you're going to do with the other attachments all the attachments have the same opening take them out the only thing that you need to do is pull a little bit up twist and pull down and you just need to be sure that the paddle is steady okay so now the only thing that you need to do is put this lever up and your mixer is ready to operate Now I am going to turn on the mixer and you will be able to hear the sound of the mixer operating, okay? here this motor is very very powerful it has 450 watts and 67 touch points around the mixer bowl for great mixing results and to clean your parts the bowl the doll hook and the flat paddle are dishwasher safe you have to put them in the top part of your dishwasher and your wire whisk needs to be hand washed okay to clean your mixer you just need to use a damp cloth one thing that i noticed when i started using this mixer is how nice is the lower speed i really like how smooth it is and when i add the dry ingredients to my bowl I don't see the big cloud of powder in my kitchen. As you saw, this mixer is very powerful and if you're not used to use these kind of mixers for your recipes, I will recommend that you first test your recipes using this mixer because the speeds and the mixing time will be a little different using this mixer. is super powerful 
and I really like that with this mixer I am able to make more batches of cookies at once you can make up to 9 to 10 dozen of cookies and I also really really like how white the bowl is I can really see what is going on when I'm doing my cookies, okay? Yes, I really hope that this review is going to be very helpful for you. If you have been using an artisan, this is going to be a little different. So you just need to pay attention and you might need to switch some speeding times and speeds on your recipes, okay? Thank you very much for coming today to my channel. If you really like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and leave me any comment, question, or suggestion, and I will be very happy to answer it to you. Okay? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and see you till next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.